Picture this, it's a balmy summer evening, and you find yourself nestled in the dimly lit comfort of a vintage movie theater. The year is 1954, and a hush falls over the expectant crowd as the curtains draw back to reveal the silver screen. The title, The Egyptian, gleams in bold letters, drawing you into a world steeped in ancient mystique and timeless intrigue. As the opening scenes unfold, you're transported back in time to the grandeur of ancient Egypt. The sweeping sands of the desert, the opulent palaces, and the enigmatic allure of pharaohs and pyramids all come alive before your eyes. The film weaves a mesmerizing tale of ambition, love, and the relentless pursuit of immortality. Perhaps, like many, you recall the powerful performances of its stellar cast, with Edmund Purdom as Sinu, the gifted physician turned fugitive, and the magnetic Gene Simmons as the bewitching merit. Or maybe, it's the hauntingly beautiful score by Alfred Newman that lingers in your memory, each note resonating with the grandeur of the ancient civilization it accompanies. The Egyptian is a cinematic masterpiece that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who had the privilege of experiencing it. But did you know that behind the scenes, this epic was a labor of love, taking three years to make, and involving the talents of over 35,000 craftsmen who meticulously recreated the splendor of ancient Egypt. So, as we embark on a journey to unravel some captivating random facts about this cinematic gem, let's celebrate the magic of the Egyptian and the timeless stories it continues to etch in our collective memory. The Egyptian, released in 1954, is an epic historical drama film directed by Michael Curtis. It's based on the best-selling novel of the same name by Mika Waltari and transports viewers to ancient Egypt, offering a vivid portrayal of life during the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten. The story follows the life of Sinu, a gifted physician who rises from humble origins to navigate the complex politics and intrigue of the time. Iconic characters like Sinu, the ambitious and reform-driven Akhenaten, and the enigmatic Nefertiti come to life through stellar performances by the cast. The film's unique style lies in its meticulous attention to historical detail, bringing ancient Egypt to the screen with elaborate sets and costumes that immerse the audience in a bygone era. Its grand scope and epic storytelling were in keeping with the cinematic trends of the era, reminiscent of other epics like Ben-Hur and Cleopatra. The Egyptian had a notable impact on popular culture, contributing to the fascination with ancient Egypt and Western cinema. It also sparked interest in historical and archaeological themes, prompting many to delve deeper into the mysteries of this ancient civilization. While not as well remembered today as some other classics, the Egyptian remains a testament to Hollywood's ability to transport audiences to distant times and places, making history come alive on the silver screen. In 1954, the movie The Egyptian had its fair share of behind-the-scenes drama. One notable incident involved Sir Peter Ustinov, who auditioned for a role in the film, but was initially rejected because the producers thought he was too young. However, Ustinov did his homework and discovered that the character he was trying out for was only a few years older than he was. Armed with this information, he convinced the producers to reconsider, and they eventually gave him the role. Another interesting tidbit from the film's production was the casting dilemma involving Marlon Brando and Bella Darby. Brando was originally signed to appear opposite Darby, but from the first script read-through, it was clear that they didn't get along. Darby, who played the role of the courtesan Nefer, faced criticism not only from Brando but also from Gene Simmons and other cast members, who joked that Darby was an actress who Nefer was. Just as filming was about to commence, Brando refused to be a part of the movie, citing his dislike for the director, the role, and especially Bella Darby. As a result, Sir Dirk Bogard was offered the role but turned it down, leading to the casting of Edmund Purdom as Sinu, the physician. Lastly, it's worth noting that the Egyptian holds a unique place in history as the first movie released on the Blu-ray disc format by DVD distributor Twilight Time. This technological milestone marked a significant moment in the evolution of home entertainment. In summary, the making of the 1954 movie The Egyptian was not without its share of interesting anecdotes. From Peter Ustinov's convincing research-based audition to the casting drama involving Marlon Brando, Bella Darby, and the subsequent Blu-ray release by Twilight Time. These behind-the-scenes stories provide a fascinating glimpse into the world of Hollywood during that era. 
1954 movie The Egyptian was adapted from Mika Waltaris' 1945 historical novel, which was a bestseller worldwide. Waltaris' novel drew inspiration from the ancient Egyptian story of Sinu. It's worth noting that Waltari also penned two more historical novels, The Etruscan a decade later and The Roman nine years after that. After filming the Egyptian 20th Century Fox recouped some of its substantial production costs by selling various set pieces, props, and costumes to Paramount Pictures. These items were later used in the colossal epic, Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments in 1956. Interestingly, the Egyptian depicts Queen Nefertiti and some of her daughters but omits any mention of Pharaoh Akhenaten's most famous child, Tutankhamun. This omission may be due to the movie's plot, which required General Hormheb to ascend to the throne upon Akhenaten's death, setting up a potential sequel. In reality, Hormheb only became Pharaoh after the deaths of Pharaoh I, who succeeded Tutankhamun, and Tutankhamun himself. Hormheb served as Tutankhamun's loyal chief general during his reign. These facts shed light on the historical context and behind-the-scenes dealings that contributed to the making of the Egyptian, making it a fascinating piece of cinematic history. The 1954 movie The Egyptian holds the distinction of being the first box office failure in cinema scope. Despite high expectations, the film struggled to attract audiences, marking an unfortunate beginning for the new widescreen technology. Notably, Marilyn Monroe made a strong effort to secure the role of Nefer in the movie. However, producer Daryl F. Zanuck had already chosen Bella Darby, who was his mistress at the time, for the part. This decision sparked some controversy and added intrigue to the film's production. In a publicity press book for 20th Century Fox Cinemascope projects in 1954, the movie's cast was initially set to feature Marlon Brando, Burt Lancaster, and Kirk Douglas. However, Brando dropped out at the last minute, leading to changes in the cast lineup. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the challenges and intrigues that shaped the Egyptian, making it a noteworthy entry in Hollywood history. In 1954, the movie The Egyptian hit the silver screen, featuring Victor Mature and Jean Tierney in lead roles. While the film garnered attention for its epic historical drama, there are interesting behind-the-scenes facts that shed light on its production and impact on Hollywood. One notable aspect is the potential sequel that was planned. The studio had considered bringing back Victor Mature and Jean Tierney for a follow-up film. However, due to the movie's less-than-expected box office performance, the sequel never saw the light of day. Another intriguing tidbit is the fate of the movie's set pieces, props, and costumes. After shooting concluded, 20th Century Fox decided to recoup some of the film's immense cost by selling these items to Paramount Pictures. Paramount, in turn, used them in the production of an even grander epic, Cecil B. DeMille's The Ten Commandments in 1956. This exchange of assets between two major studios showcases the practical side of Hollywood's filmmaking business, where recycling and repurposing could help balance the financial scales. In the end, the Egyptian might not have reached the box office heights it had hoped for, but its legacy lives on through the indirect contributions it made to another iconic film. And that's a glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of the 1954 movie The Egyptian, highlighting how it influenced Hollywood history, both in its own time and beyond. Lost Identity, the struggle of the Egyptians' cast members amidst depression in 1954, the movie The Egyptian took the Hollywood stage by storm. However, behind the glitz and glamour of the red carpet, a darker narrative unfolded for some of its cast members. Depression cast a shadow over their lives, challenging their sense of self and identity in the limelight. While the Egyptian received critical acclaim and recognition, not all of its cast members basked in the glory. Some battled personal demons, wrestling with the pressures of fame and the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. Depression is a silent battle that can affect anyone, regardless of their fame or success. For some cast members of the Egyptian, the demands of the industry led to a profound struggle to maintain authenticity in the public eye. The relentless pursuit of perfection in Hollywood, combined with the constant scrutiny, took a toll on these actors. It became increasingly challenging to reconcile their public personas with their inner turmoil. Depression eroded their self-esteem and sense of identity 
leaving them feeling adrift amidst the dazzling world of showbiz. Yet, amidst the darkness, there were those who found solace in their art. Some cast members of the Egyptian turned to their craft as a means of coping with their inner demons. They used storytelling to bridge the gap with their audience, sharing their struggles and vulnerabilities through their work. In an industry that often prioritizes image over authenticity, these actors dared to be vulnerable. They channeled their pain and experiences into their performances, creating a deeper connection with their fans. It was through this shared journey of healing that they found their way back to the hearts of their audience. In the end, the story of the Egyptian goes beyond the silver screen. It is a testament to the resilience of those who grapple with depression in the unforgiving world of Hollywood. Their struggles remind us that behind the glitz and glamour, there are real people with real battles, fighting to maintain their sense of self. Depression may have cast a shadow, but these cast members of the Egyptian emerged as survivors, finding strength in their art and connecting with their audience in a way that transcended the superficial. Their journey is a reminder that even in the darkest moments, there is hope for rediscovering one's identity and healing through the power of storytelling. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the sands of time, and the grandeur of ancient Egypt, I invite you to ponder the enduring allure of the 1954 cinematic masterpiece, The Egyptian. Much like the pyramids that have withstood the test of centuries, this film has etched itself into the annals of cinema history. The story of The Egyptian transcends the screen, weaving a tapestry of human ambition, love, and the inexorable passage of time. It beckons us to reflect on our own lives and the legacies we aspire to leave behind. Are we driven by the same fervor as Sinu, the protagonist, in our pursuit of knowledge and love? Perhaps you've marveled at the opulent sets and the meticulous attention to detail that brought ancient Egypt to life. Or maybe it's the hauntingly beautiful score that still resonates in your memory. Did the film's exploration of ethics, medicine, and social hierarchies provoke your thoughts on the complexities of human existence? Now, dear viewer, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, your musings, or the emotions the Egyptian stirred within you. Did it transport you to the banks of the Nile, or did it inspire you to delve deeper into the enigmatic world of Egyptian history? Thank you for embarking on this cinematic odyssey with us. Your time and interest in this timeless classic are greatly appreciated. Let your reflections flow freely and let us keep the spirit of the Egyptian alive through our collective appreciation. Reflect, reminisce, and share. Your voice adds another layer to the mystique of this remarkable film. Until we meet again, happy cinematic explorations. With gratitude.